one likes his plan. Yeah, what if Timmy gets captured? We could be walking straight into a trap. Timmy's the most experienced scout. We have no choice but to trust he'll deliver. How do we know we're not being scouted right now? Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this place. You guys are just paranoid. This place is full of food, I can almost taste it. Sounds like your stomach is thinking for you. Don't let your guard down. Over there on that wall, it looks like some sort of inscription. What does it say? Nothing. It's just a symbol. I know what it is. Sort of. Well? It's the sign of a militant group that I've heard is related to the Vanishment. Do you know why the adults keep disappearing? Barry, don't get their hopes up. It's just a legend, right? I have no idea. I told you what I've heard and that's all I know. Someone's coming! Everyone stand down! It's Timmy! I told you guys not to worry. Stay on your toes. He could have been followed. Came up behind a guard protecting the entrance to one of the buildings. I took him out from about 50 feet, but he's still breathing. I guess it was more like 80 feet. Let me guess, he's around six feet tall? Too far to tell. Was the door locked? No, it's busted, but it's too dangerous to go in alone. Let's get back there before the kid I took out wakes up. We're too late. He woke up and left. Or his friends carried him away. Do you think there's more inside? I'm sure of it. We don't want to give them too much time. Is everyone ready? Don't come any further, we have you surrounded. No, we have you surrounded. There's 48 others waiting outside. You heard them. It's over. Come out where we can see you. Look, we're traveling, making peace with every clan we find. We're not here to fight. We're on an important quest. What sort of quest? To figure out why the adults disappear. You want to make peace? Yes. Krista, what do you think? Do you believe them? Nope. Okay, folks, that's it. You have five seconds to turn around. Nobody turns around. Stand your ground. One. Two. Everybody stop. We'll never find our parents this way. We have to work together. If we join together, we can provide security for your food storage in exchange for some meals. You're assuming we're protecting food. You're not? Then what are you doing here? We're working on something really important. Davy, they're right. We need more help. Our mission is their mission. We know where the adults went, and we're working on a crack that will get us all there. You're sure about this? Yes. Come over this way. Hey! Give me my crossbow back! I didn't hit you with the rock. Just don't ever touch it again. You won't know how to load it anyway. This is the old laboratory of Dr. Abe J. Larson. He discovered a wormhole that connects Earth to a planet on the other side of the galaxy with a similar environment. It's better than Earth, there's no pollution, and there's plenty of food. Only because we haven't messed it up yet. Dr. Larson knew that politics would get involved and ruin his discovery unless he acted alone. He found a way to use the human genome to map it's the- It's all in his writings. He used the properties of human DNA to import into his algorithm. Once the number is set, all he had to do was alter the right electron. And that's it. All human DNA instantly reassociated with its counterpart electrons light years away. Well, that was his plan anyway. He didn't account for the fact that his formula only worked for fully matured DNA. So, here we are. 
Now, it seems from the evidence that Dr. Larson's experiment worked a little too well. He probably wasn't even done experimenting when it happened. We've been able to repeat the circumstances using his machine, but only for brief moments at a time. Jerry, what's the status? Almost ready for another go. What does this thing do again? If we re-import the numbers that Dr. Larson came up with and switch the last number to its square root, we'll get a brief vision through the wormhole. Basically, the machine allows us to see, not warp, to the planet where the adults disappeared to. At least for now. We're still working on it. You can even communicate with the adults on the other side. For some reason, we can hear them, but they can't hear us. Our generators are running low on fuel, so we can only do this once in a while. Who do you want to send in? Barry. All right, everybody step back. Step right here. Look into the beam. We have a diffuser plate in place so it won't hurt your eyes. Thank you.